Astronomers have just spotted something that shouldn't exist, a brilliant green comet on a perfectly flat path skimming the edge of Earth's neighborhood. Some scientists whisper that it might be the surviving shard of a giant, a body up to a hundred times more massive, that shattered long ago. It first appeared on September 11, 2025, when NASA's SOHO spacecraft locked onto something extraordinary. The three-eye swan camera captured what looked like a ghost streaking through the black, a vivid emerald blaze against the void. But what made Mission Control fall silent wasn't its color. It was where it came from. This comet, officially named C2025R2, doesn't follow the rules. Before we dive deeper, if you love unraveling mysteries written across the stars, make sure to subscribe and follow along, because what's about to unfold might change everything we know about our solar system. Comets from the Oort cloud usually dive toward the sun from every imaginable angle. Wild and unpredictable, plunging through space like cosmic wanderers. But Swan glides differently, almost too perfectly, tilted just 4.5 degrees from the solar plane, as if it were born alongside the planets themselves. That's like finding a polar bear walking calmly through a desert. Something powerful, something massive must have dragged it into place. And if that's true, it hints at a history far older and stranger than we can grasp. Scientists are beginning to suspect that this isn't a comet at all, at least not in the traditional sense. It could be a fragment, a piece torn from an ancient superbody that once ruled the skies, a mega comet that crumbled into the night and scattered its bones across time. The tension builds as Earth approaches the crossing point. On October 6th, our planet will slide directly through Swan's orbital path. If any remnants from its parent body remain, tiny shards, invisible dust, drifting ice, they will collide with us at cosmic speed. Amateur astronomers prepare their cameras, hoping for new meteors to streak across the night. Professionals ready their telescopes, searching for fragments that may trail behind like breadcrumbs. Even the James Webb Space Telescope has shifted its priorities, eyes locked on this intruder. It isn't just curiosity that drives them. It's the realization that this comet could rewrite the very story of how giant wanderers seeded the inner solar system. Swan's path is wrong, its glow too fresh, its silence too loud, its orbit makes no sense, 4.5 degrees of inclination, almost perfectly aligned with the planetary plane. The Oort cloud doesn't produce such precision. Those comets dive at wild inclines, 40 or 60 degrees, even perpendicular to the sun's equator. Yet Swan travels smoothly, obediently, as though guided. The source of its eerie green light lies in chemistry, diatomic carbon and carbon dioxide erupting from its frozen core, illuminated by the sun. That color isn't just pretty, it's a sign of newness. Fresh ice untouched for millennia, exposed for the first time to heat and radiation. On October 20th, Swan will pass within 0.26 astronomical units, closer than Venus. Safe for us, but close enough for revelation. October 6th, however, remains the moment to watch. That's when we pass through its plane, through the unseen veil of a possible ancient disaster. The odds of this orbit happening naturally are almost zero. Something had to force it. Only a giant, perhaps Jupiter, could have sculpted its path this way. Jupiter's gravity can capture comets, reshape their fates, even tear them apart. But what if Swan's parent body wasn't captured, it was broken? When scientists speak of something being a hundred times larger, the implications split in two directions. By mass, it might mean a parent body four or five times wider than Swan, reasonable and consistent with known physics. But by diameter, that means something monstrous, perhaps 200 kilometers wide, a world-sized object drifting on a comet's heart. If that's true, then we're watching the aftermath of a cosmic extinction. The evidence divides into three impossible clues. The first, the orbit impossibly flat. That doesn't happen by chance. The second, it's green coma, glowing fiercely from freshly exposed interior ice. The third, timing. Earth's orbit will intersect with Swan's almost perfectly, creating a massive natural experiment. Telescopes around the world have cleared their schedules. Every eye is turned upward, waiting. Because if Swan really is a fragment of something enormous, the signs will appear soon. A brief flash in the night sky. A tiny meteor shower, a faint ghost following in its wake. Nature rarely arranges coincidences so precise. Imagine the power required to reshape a comet's orbit, to strip it from the Oort cloud and pull it into alignment with the planets. 
Jupiter's immense gravity could do it, but only during a violent encounter. The parent body must have passed dangerously close, within reach of tidal forces strong enough to stretch and break it. Solid rock might survive, but comets, porous and fragile, tear like paper. That could explain Swan's current behavior. Uneven jets of gas, a curved tail, hints of asymmetry. It isn't dying, it's venting. Bleeding from old wounds left by a cosmic giant. Each flicker of light, each irregular burst could be the whisper of a much older catastrophe. Another theory suggests something even stranger. Swan's parent might have shattered not recently, but ages ago, slowly over millennia. Subtle stress, heat and cold cycling like breaths of time, cracking the body from within. A fragment like Swan might have been drifting alone for thousands of years, silently carried forward until Jupiter's gravity gave it a final nudge. In this version, it's a survivor, not a newborn. A ghost that never realized it had died. Astronomers scour old data, searching for others like it. Seventeen candidates have been flagged, possible siblings that share the same orbital fingerprints. Each could be another piece of that long-lost parent body scattered across the darkness. But a different story unfolds in the heat of the moment. On September 12th, Swan reached perihelion, its closest pass to the sun, bathing in temperatures that could melt metal. Cometary ice, trapped for 20,000 years, erupted in sudden fury. Its brightness spiked again and again, each flare a heartbeat from the deep. Observers saw sharp jumps instead of gradual increases, like something had cracked open. The comet's spin shifted, wobbling ever so slightly. Data from Chile and Hawaii show a 14-second change in its 7.2-hour rotation period, impossible to ignore. Something is happening inside Swan, something alive and unstable. Around the world, observatories are racing against time. The very large telescope in Chile snaps images every few seconds, stacking hundreds together to reveal ghosts invisible to ordinary cameras. Three faint candidates have emerged, tiny nuclei drifting near Swan's tail, perhaps the first signs of ongoing fragmentation. The Subaru telescope watches for changes in brightness, while the James Webb turns its gaze to the heat of invisible fractures. Even Hubble is watching, tracking hydrogen plumes that reveal where water ice evaporates. Together, these telescopes are building a three-dimensional autopsy of a dying traveler. Each photon tells a piece of the story, each chemical trace, a clue to what this object once was, and what the data reveals is astonishing. Swan's gases are not what they should be. Carbon monoxide twice the normal level. Methanol, too. Substances that shouldn't survive near the surface are erupting freely, meaning one thing. This ice is new. This is the comet's first exposure to sunlight in thousands, maybe millions of years. Its pristine chemistry makes it a window into the birth of our solar system. Every molecule it releases could be older than Earth itself. Every flicker of its green light might carry secrets from a time before the planets had names. Mega comets like this are more than just space debris. They are time capsules. They formed before Earth existed, before the sun finished burning into being. Inside them lies the chemistry that made life possible. Amino acids, complex carbon chains, ancient water. When they break apart, they spread these materials through the cosmos, seeding the potential for life wherever they fall. If Swan is a piece of a larger body, then its siblings may be out there, carrying the same genetic code of creation. When Earth crosses its trail, fragments of that ancient chemistry may brush against our atmosphere, delivering whispers from the dawn of time. Throughout history, comets have been the messengers of mystery. The Great Comet of 1106 split into a family of sun-diving fragments that still return to this day. Swan may be part of a similar lineage, the remnant of a forgotten titan. Its orbit, 22,000 years long, means it last appeared when humanity painted caves and worshipped fire. When it returns, we might be wandering the stars ourselves. Until then, it will leave behind questions that no telescope can answer fully. Why this orbit? Why now? And what if this isn't a coincidence at all, but a sign of something bigger moving just beyond our reach? Swan's story isn't finished. Its green glow will fade. Its orbit will stretch back toward the cold, and the universe will swallow it again for another age. But before it vanishes, it might tell us what we've been missing. A reminder that the solar system is not a quiet, settled place, but a battlefield of creation and destruction. Each comet is a survivor, a relic of collisions that shape the worlds we walk on. 
Each fragment is a voice from before time began. And this one, this emerald wanderer on a path too perfect to be random, may be the loudest of them all. So keep your eyes to the sky, stay with us, and subscribe for what comes next. Because Swan's mystery is only beginning to unfold, and the universe never tells its secrets twice.